needed from uh, this past weekend. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson is in. Kevin, what time do people have to get in before the rain comes? Well, it looks like they're at least going to get to enjoy the next few days for the most part before any rain. So if you're thinking about checking out the zoo, for example, I think you're in pretty good shape. Now, if you're going later in the week, brace yourself for some cooler temperatures. All right, so here's what to expect the next few days. Again, similar to this morning, if you're south of the Ohio River, there will be the small chance for a passing shower first thing tomorrow morning. The rest of us are simply going to stay dry heading into our Wednesday, but that front will bring in cooler weather for Thursday, and I think we all face a much greater rain chance by the weekend, and that's when most of us will actually see our first real shot at some wet weather. So here's a talk about cooling temperatures off some tomorrow. We're still in the mid 60s, but we take about a 10 degree tumble on Thursday. We'll only be in the 50s for highs and then heading into the weekend. I think we're going to hover somewhere close to 60 with clouds and will increasing rain chances as you see here behind me. So there's your low end rain threat for areas south of the river tomorrow morning. You don't have to worry about rain Thursday and Friday. And right now, honestly, it's a 50 50 shot at some wet weather for the weekend. But I do want to just bring that to your attention again this weekend. It looks like we're timing out the arrival of wet weather. It's turned out to be a beautiful Tuesday around the area. Here's a look at this afternoon. It's partly to mostly cloudy out 64 at the airport. The winter light, so it still feels pretty comfortable, especially if you're in the sun at 67 in Mason, Loveland, Springboro 66, 68 in Hamilton, Falmouth at 64. Oh, we're 64 in Hillsboro. We're 63 over in Ripley County around Versailles. So another evening to enjoy plenty of time outdoors. You don't have to worry about the weather. Take a jog, a walk. Maybe you're thinking about pulling out the grill, whatever you're doing this evening. It looks great. Temperatures will be comfortable, especially through about eight o'clock will be in the 60s. But after that, much like last night, it will turn a little bit cooler. If you're out later, we'll tumble through the 50s and we'll wind up down into the mid 40s by morning. So there's that little area of rain you see diving to the south that clipped some of our southernmost communities this morning. Now we're just left with partly to mostly cloudy skies. This is the next weather player for us, and this is a much stronger cool front that will slide in here during the day tomorrow. Let me show you what happens tonight. We'll be in and out of the clouds through the night tonight. There's your little passing shower threat to the south of Cincinnati, mainly south of the Ohio River. And then tomorrow, much like to much like today, I think we start tomorrow with clouds and as the day progresses, we'll work our way into more sunshine and then it looks like well, as we get into Wednesday night, that cooler air starts to settle in and look what happens on Thursday. You can kind of see these clouds here moving out of the north. We'll have brisk breezes, mostly cloudy skies. Yeah, it's going to feel a little chilly by Thursday. Comfortable tonight. How about 44 for an overnight low? Pretty similar to last night and tomorrow's going to be pretty similar to today for us. We'll be back in the 60s again. Here's a look at your day planner starting out in the 40s and rising into the 60s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So there's your cooler weather on Thursday with more clouds. Check those overnight lows too. They're down into the 30s tomorrow night and again on Thursday night. And then there's your increasing rain chances through the weekend. Not a washout, Stephen and Ashley, but I think those chances for rain are likely to go up as we get closer to Saturday and Sunday. Kevin, thank you. A police chase turns into